Okay, welcome back. We're on uh, day six of uh, factorization. Here we have this expression, which is uh, really to the power four. It will be diff difficult to factor out. Now we can come up with an expression related to, to this one by adding a term that would, uh, that, that would maintain the same expression. So if I'm going to have to add this one, uh, 4x squared, Okay, and then we have here 4, and then I am again to subtract 4x squared. This and this one, we just cancel out, and it's still be the same to this one. But this one could be uh, get a certain factor, or we can reduce this one to x squared plus 2 to the power of 2. If you're going to multiply x squared plus 2 and then by itself, you can come up with this one. Okay. And this one will looks like this. That is like, you know, uh, x squared is x squared plus 2 squared. And minus 4x squared is just like y squared. Okay. So we can have this x. Okay plus y and x minus y. Okay, so if I'm going to factor out. Okay. The factor of this one yeah, is just this one, x squared plus 2. Okay. And then you have also x squared plus 2. Because this is to the power of two. One and power of one plus power of two. And then this one of negative and minus. So we use first here plus, just like this one, plus y. Plus you have four x squared, y squared. Our y here is two x, right? So you have here two x, and then you also have here negative two x because you have minus y, the plus y. So from here, we can now simplify this one. So this is rearrange x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then you have your x squared. Now this becomes minus 2x plus 2. So this is the factor of this x squared plus 4. Now, welcome to the simple one, from the hardest to the simple. OK, to the simplest one. So. What factors, what, what number could we isolate? A factor of 9 and 6. 9 has 3 and 3. 6 is 2 and 3. So isolate 3. Should give us x squared plus 3x. Okay. Right? And then plus 2. So you have a factor of this one. Factor of x squared is x and x. Factor of 2 is 2 and 1. Okay, so this is your factor. Okay, next. Okay, so for this, it's difficult to do the factoring of this. Okay, you have here 3 and 1, this one, 2. It will be difficult for this one. Okay, so what you're going to do is to look for a number. Uh, so we'll multiply this one, 2 and 3. You have here 6. And then we look for for a, a number okay, that would split this one, okay, that is, that would split five x, and then the product of that is six. So if I'm going to look at uh, six, the factor of this one is two and three, and then there's also other one is six and one. But if you add six and one, it will not give five. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7, whereas 2 plus 3 give us 5. So you can split, split 5x as 2 and 3. So you can have your 2x squared. 5, 5x will be split into 2x plus 3x, okay? And then you copy 3. What's to say? Here, we can factor out. Also here, we can factor out 3. Here is 2. 
2x. So you have your 2x. A factor of 2x, what remains here is x. Okay? What remains here is 1. Here, if I factor out 3, you have your x and you have your 1. That is when you have 2x and x, is 2x is 1. 2x and 1 is 2x. Here, you have 3x and then 3 and 1 is 3. So from here, you can factor out x plus 1, plus 1. Okay. Here, if you remove x plus 1, remaining is 2x. Here, again, if you re remove uh, x plus 1, isolate, remaining is 3. Okay, so this is your factor. So I think uh, that's all for today. And uh, see you in the next series of our tutorial.